Okay, Muzaffar. Now, from fluid mechanics, I want you to tell me something about the streamlines, streak lines, and yes. path lines. Uh, sir, uh, these are the lines in, uh, in uh, that we deal in in fluid. Sir, streamline, sir, uh, is the line is in is, it is actually an imaginary line, sir. Uh, the tangent at uh, at any point on this line, sir, gives the direction of the flow at that very point. Sir, streak line, sir, uh, if we talk about the looks of the uh, um, uh, the um, of various fluid particles that pass through a particular point sir uh, that is uh, just given by the streak line sir for example if we want to just uh, obtain uh, or to observe the streak line sir we are just uh, putting some some kind of uh, um, smoke or are the, the path followed by uh, locus of the fluid particles given by the streak line or sir and sir path line is the fluid uh, is the uh, Path followed by a particular fluid, fluid particle uh, in a in a particular time, sir. Uh, in path line, we uh, talk about the uh, fluid particle, uh, the, the path followed by a fluid particle, sir. Okay. What is the significance of uh, streak line? Mm, sir, uh, that I don't know, sir. Mm. Okay. Now, can you tell me something about the, you know, applications of Bernoulli's principle? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, Bernoulli uh, equation or uh, principle can be used, sir, in flow measuring devices, sir, like uh, in a venturi meter, in orifice meter, or in a spit or tube, sir. It can be also used to uh, in, uh, sir, uh, aircraft, sir, uh, because it tells us about how lift is created in the aircraft, sir. Mm, okay, that's the only thing. Any other? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Any other application in cricket match? Yes, sir. Uh, spinning of the ball, sir. The Magnus effect, uh, the deflection in the ball is because of the sir, Bernoulli equation, sir. So uh, Magnus effect is also related to Bernoulli principle, is it? Uh, no, sir. Uh, not exactly, but uh, when this ball is spinning, sir, there is a pressure difference created. Um, so because of that, uh, the ball gets deflected in a particular direction. Hmm. Okay, Muzaffar, now tell me uh, something about viscosity. What do you understand by that? Sir, uh, viscosity is a fluid property, sir, in which uh, uh, when the fluid is moving, so one layer of fluid is uh, trying to resist the motion of the other layer, uh, sir, in case of a fluid. fluid sir, uh, also, if we talk about uh, Newton's law of viscosity, sir, the shear stress within a fluid is directly proportional to the shear stress rate, or uh, if we want to uh, uh, this, uh, join these two, it is joined by a constant called coefficient of viscosity, sir. This is it is actually a fluid friction, sir, between the fluid layers, sir. We try to resist the motion of the adjacent layers. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me now, surface tension. Ka, what is the significance of surface tension? Uh, sir, surface tension is actually the tensile or pulling force that is that the fluid particles are applying at its surface, sir, uh, because the fluid try to minimize its surface area. Sir, uh, we have various applications of surface tension. For example, sir, uh, if we uh, in, in in case of if we want to uh, paint a wall, sir, the, where the, the, the surface tension should be less, sir, so that the, it can separate over the wall. Uh, sir, uh, same is the case like, for example, in, in soap and detergent, the surface tension should be uh, less so that the uh, so the water can. Uh, um, uh, move in the different corners and remove the dirt. Uh, sir, uh, also in non-sticky pens, there we want the surface tension to be more so that uh, the, the ingredients won't stick to the pen. Uh, sir, also uh, the, the blood, blood should have a moderate surface tension. It should not be more, not be less so that the, it can move easily in the arteries. And also uh, during a wound or, or something, uh, it, should, uh, it should not go out. So it should have a moderate surface tension, sir. Mm. Okay, can you tell me some applications of low surface tension and some applications of high surface tension? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, for low surface tension, for example, sir, uh, same what I said earlier, sir, uh, the painting of the wall. Sir, the, 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 the paint should be separate uh, over the wall, so the surface tension should be less. Uh, similarly, sir, uh, uh, um, um, also, sir, uh, it should not stick. For example, if we... Um, Oh, low surface tension. Sir, also in soap and detergent, sir, it should be, uh, the, the, the surface tension should be less so that the, the, the dirt can be easily removed, sir. Because, sir, the if surface tension is more, sir, the cohesive forces are more, so it cannot uh, just uh, meet our purpose, sir. Mm. 
and uh, sir high surface tension sir uh, for example if we talk about the fry pan sir the the, the ingredients that it should not stick to the pan sir the the surface tension should be more mm, okay uh, thermometer may you have mercury right yes sir why do you use mercury on in thermometer sir uh, thermo uh, the, sir mercury has various uh, properties because of which is used in therm uh, thermometer like sir for example it has high thermal uh, expansion coefficient sir sir also it has very low pressure uh, sir uh, and uh, high surface tension sir because of these three properties sir we use it in thermometer sir mm. mercury surface tension is high right yes sir sir it is because of the high intermolecular force of cohesion sir in the mercury uh muzaffar tell me about boundary layers sir uh, boundary layer sir these are very thin regions when a fluid is flowing over the solid surface plate sir because of no slip condition sir at the boundary the fluid which is adjacent to the solid uh, surface is just stick to it and the relative motion becomes zero sir also in this region sir uh, uh, the velocity gradient and the uh, this drag stresses are significant as compared to the outside the boundary layer sir uh, because of the viscous effect significant viscous effect sir the velocity is reduced inside the boundary layer it uh, ranges from zero to the up uh, uh, free stream velocity Mm -hmm. and boundary layer sir okay so what is the advantage of boundary layer uh sir uh, the, it might be good or bad depending on the application sir uh, boundary because of the boundary layer sir uh, the uh, in, uh, so because of boundary layer formation sir for example if we talk about in internal combustion engines or in the places where we want to transfer the heat dissipate the heat sir because of boundary layer formation uh, the uh, incoming air uh, is unable to co be to come in contact with the surface uh, because so the heat transfer doesn't take place so it is not good there where we want to dissipate the heat sir hmm. okay so uh, can you tell me various forces in fluid yes sir uh, sir uh, there are uh, pressure forces uh, there are gravity for gravity force there is viscous force sir uh, also uh, there can be a turbulent force as well if we talk about uh, this real fluids or reynolds uh, transport equation and all that what is reynolds equation can i bring in one minute uh, Sir, uh, Reynolds equation, sir, takes into account the. Uh, uh, it's about the sir real fluid where we take the uh, uh, certain forces like pressure force, gravity force, viscous force, and turbulent force, sir. So mm -hmm. it is the analysis used to uh, use for uh, sir uh, this turbulent uh, turbulent uh, this um, flows, sir. For example, sir, we have Bernoulli equation. We we use it for uh, this. Uh, we consider the fl uh, flow as ideal, sir, or the equation of uh, this. Uh, Euler equation, sir. Navier-Stokes equation used for viscous flows. But sir, for example, if we have a uh, turbulent, we have, have to analyze the turbulent flow. But turbulence force is also significant, sir. We use, sir. There we use this Reynolds Ren Ren equation. Okay, Muzaffar, let me give you the feedback. See, your level in fluid is good. I mean, you are answering good, and you've gone through that marathon. I can feel that your answers are also there. But uh, yes, uh, I think you need to revise even more for this because, like path lines, yes, sir. Line, I asked English question. these are catchy question you know path line stream line streak line path line what do you use streak line why you use, use so if you understand what are path line and streak line you will understand how it is to be used they are used for you know analysis of the flow only yes sir right when you move with one particle that keeps on making the path and streak also yes sir but when you That's consider path. you know there are two you know, methods to study the fluids right yes sir l r in a lang engine yes sir. so somewhere you yes, link sir. those things right That yes, is what sir. he was trying to ask. But the level is good. I think you could answer the questions. Applications of Bernoulli, then many things should come from your side, sir. Orifice meter, Peter tube, venturi meter. They all are based on the application of Bernoulli question only. There is a dedicated chapter for that, right? That I mentioned, sir. Ah, uh, so, so that I mentioned earlier. And keep on telling other things also, whatever you know. Let yes, me sir. Measure the you, velocity of flow, we measure the pressure, and all these things, right? Yes, sir. As I told you, your level is good. Just keep this level up and revise other subjects also. Muzaffar. Sure, sir. Thank right? you, this sir. This practice is important. What you are doing, that practice is important. Yes, sir.